So you're new to ticks. How do you get started? Well, the first thing you'll need is a tote account. All of the ticks bets go into the tote racing pools. So head on over to tote. There's a link somewhere by this video uh, and click the join button. From there, you'll be able to enter your details and register for a tote account. When you deposit £10, you'll get uh, some kind of <coughs> bonus, which might be this one or might be something different when you click that link. Okay, so assuming you've got a tote account, head over to ticks.bet, that's ticks.bet, and you'll see a screen like this. There's some explainer information on the front page and lots more information on these pages, including how ABCX works. I'll cover that briefly in this video. So let's go to the app where the magic happens. When you first go to the app, you'll see a screen like this. It's pretty blank and that's because I'm not logged in. So the first thing I need to do is connect the app to my Tote account and I do that by clicking the connect button. From there, I enter my email address and password. Note my email address, not my username, my email address and password. Having entered those, click continue. And now I see today's race meetings uh, that are available in ticks. So you can see that we have all the place pots. There's a jackpot in the UK and one in Ireland today at Kilbegan. There are quad pots at all the UK meetings. And there is a place pot seven meeting. That's a seven leg place pot that is sometimes across multiple uh, race meetings and sometimes seven races at the same meeting. So these are the options I've got. I've also got options for stake and budget. So I'm going to set my unit stake at a penny and my budget at 12 pounds. And I'm going to choose Lingfield Quad Pot. Having selected that, you now move to the Races tab. In the Races tab, the screen is broken into two sections. The top section is a summary of your selections. The green column is for your A selections. These are your strongest fancies, your main fancies in each race. The middle yellow column is for your warm fancies. These are horses that you want to add to support your main fancies. And in the brown right hand column, this is where you put your C selections, if you have any. And here we're talking about horses that you don't especially fancy, but probably don't want to beat you. But mainly horses that are kind of dark horses, big prices that you think can hit the board. So let's um, populate this bet. To move from the first race to the second, I simply click the leg two button here and it brings up the next race. Um, to add the favorite in a leg, you just click the unnamed favorite option. And let's do three and two there and the favorite. Now, if once I'm happy with the structure of my bet. So again, these are my A selections in the green column. On the left, these are my main fancies. In the middle, these are my backup fancies for in races one and four. And on the right hand side, these are my kind of dark horses, lively outsiders, or I don't really like this horse, but don't want it to beat me kind of horses. So that's my bet structure. I now move on to the tickets tab. In the tickets tab, you can see that there are again two sections. At the top, we've got a multipliers section and I'll talk about that in a second. And underneath, we've got the individual tickets. So <clears throat> in this case, we've got five tickets and you can see that in the total cost area at the bottom where it says five tickets with a total cost of 99p. Um, now let's go through these tickets. The first ticket is all A, so it's two five in leg one, 
2 in leg 2, 4, 5, fav in leg 3, and 6 in leg 4. So you've got that here, 2, 5, 2, 4, 5, fav, and 6. In the second and third tickets, 2 and 3, we've got a combination of 1 B selection with A selections in the other legs. Now in this example, we've got two races with B selections. So ticket 2 is going to be 8, 2, 4, 5, fav, 6. 8, 2, 4, 5, fav, and 6. And ticket 3 is going to be 2, 5, 2, 4, 5, fav, 7, 8. 2, 5, 2, 4, 5, fav, 7, 8. We've also got a ticket that comprises, in this case, two A's and two B's. And that ticket is made up of 8, 2, 4, 5, fav, 7, 8. 8, 2, 4, 5, fav, 7, 8. And finally, we've got a ticket that comprises three A's and one C. 2, 5, 2, 4, 5, fav, 1, 2, fav. 2, 5, 2, 4, 5, fav, 1, 2, fav. Now, if you're still with me, great. Okay, so basically what the TIX software is doing is it's taking all of these selections and it's breaking them down into the most likely combinations. So, for example, it rather than having all of these selections in every race in a single permutation, uh, which would be 3 times 1 times 3 times 6, we've got these more optimal perms of the most likely outcomes. And because the likelihood of these outcomes differs, that is, the main fancies, which are normally towards the top of the market, are more likely to, in this case, hit the frame, because it's a quad pot where we need to find a placed selection in four races. Um, we want to stake more money. We want to weight our our investment more strongly towards the A's and tapering away and gradually uh, weighted less strongly to the C's. So in this case, I've selected all of the possible permutations and I've got for the A ticket here, I've got a four times multiplier. And for the B, A's with one B, I've got a three times multiplier. And for the A's with two B's, I've got a two times multiplier. And for the A's with one C, I have a one times multiplier. Now, I might, I might think, well, really, I don't want the A's with two B's. So if I uncheck the two B's box here, I've lost the two B's ticket or tickets from the, the below section. And um, maybe I think, well, I only want my one B's to be two times multiplier. So I've now streamlined my staking and reduced my number of possible uh, options at the bottom. So it is possible in, in this new world without the two B's, it is possible for, for me to have all of the correct uh, placed selections within my overall ticket structure, but not have all of them on the same ticket. And that's something to be aware of because uh, it can be frustrating when it occasionally happens. But the value is that we're getting a lot of coverage. We're getting most of the coverage for a small subset of the cost. And that's the key here. We're getting lots of coverage for a lower cost. Now, if I wanted to accentuate my A ticket further, I can change the stake at the bottom here. So I could do that, make that 10p, and I could make the A's with 1b 5p, let's say, and leave the others as they are. And then once I'm happy with the tickets, I can either place them individually from the, uh, the buttons that say place ticket, or I can place them all together from the button that says place all bets. 
this is just a test I haven't looked at any of the horses so let's just uh, reduce the stakes and we will click place all bets and I get a warning come up it says total ticket cost is 99p place bets now okay now if your total ticket cost is greater than the budget you suggested here then it won't allow you to place the bet so if you're having a problem there you have to check your budget here also if the total ticket cost is greater than your uh, account balance it also won't let you place the bets so those are things to be aware of anyway let's place those bets and you can see all bets are placed and those bets have gone into the pool now now if we move over to the bets tab uh, we've got some options up the t at the top for settled placed rejected and so on we've got um, a bet type selector and we've got a date selector I'm just going to stick with today if I click refresh it's brought back the bets I've placed today so these are them for five tickets totally 99 pence now at the bottom here there's an export option and I can export this to CSV or XLS let's export it to CSV and um, that's uh, downloaded within my browser I'm just going to click on that now I have a little macro within Excel and I'm going to share that um, somewhere on this page if I can with some instructions on how to install it into your Excel so this macro um, does some clever formatting for me and um, it allows me to do some stuff so basically all I do on my keyboard is I press Control and T and um, I just get rid of that um, the macro is actually for place pots rather than jackpots so it's produced a couple of extra columns there which we'll get rid of um, but it just pretties up the uh, the export here in fact what I'll do is I will use a historical place pot ticket to illustrate this which I think will be better and again so now if I click the uh, control T macro you can see it's created um, this much more much more user-friendly uh, output and what I can do which I'll show you in a separate video is um, <clears throat> how to how I track the bets as we go through the day one of the great things about ticks is that you get a 5% bonus on all winning tickets through here so if the if your dividend was a hundred pounds let's say with ticks you'd get a hundred and five pounds if it was a thousand pounds you'd get a thousand and fifty and so on so and that 5% at the end of the year can make the difference between a profit and a loss it is significant and ticks is the only place where you can get a 5% bonus on your multi-race tote bets so that's just another reason to use this now if you want the bonus and you're not really uh, either you don't understand or you're not fussed for the ABC X approach maybe it's a bit sounds a bit too complicated um, you can simply put all of your selections on a <coughs> and then it's just one ticket and you can place your bet that way just as a single place pot perm what I call a or some people call a caveman perm um, because there's no sophistication about it but that's absolutely fine of course and if you place this bet through ticks as a simple place pot like that you'll get 5% on any winnings whereas if you place that bet on the tote or another bookmaker website you'll get 0% bonus on your winnings so um, it makes absolute sense to however you play the place pot or the jackpot or the quad pot or the place pot seven or the scoop six or the iris jackpot uh, it makes sense to play it through ticks